Good evening, Toasters. Neville here again with another Nightcap Note. This evening, I'm going to be looking at this whisky, Canmore, single malt Scotch whisky, aged 12 years. Now this, uh, here in Australia, is about $110 and comes in at 40%. The label supposedly commemorates the legacy of a Scottish dynasty. This single malt was selected and matured in ex-bourbon barrels. I may be wrong, but I think these may be by an independent bottler. Because the only Canmore distillery I found when I went researching online is in Canada. And they're certainly not making scotch. Canmore is Gaelic for Great Chief. And on here it mentions Malcolm III, King of the Scots from 1051 to 1093. Well, I can guarantee the whiskey in here wasn't made back then. Canmore 12 year old. Another one I bought just recently. Took a punt and tried to give it a go. Well, that's a really bright gold colour. In fact, if I passed that in the morning, I'd be very happy. That's a really good morning sample. Hopefully it smells a bit better than that. Ah, oh, that's quite pleasant. There's, there's some chocolate and, and buttered toast. I don't know whether you know the smell of, you smear your toast with butter and you get this wonderful warming smell. And there's vanilla and wood and certainly a hint of sherry. So it may have been spent some time in a, a sherry cask. Well, that's really smooth. And there's uh, quite a bit of sponge cake about that, that sweetness. But it certainly has also some earthy notes. There's soft, soft oak, and it's quite warming. Not burning, quite warming and, and spicy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good and the finish is delightfully lingering and the delicate spice continues and certainly the toasted oak. This could well be a versatile whisky. It's well balanced, very pleasant, but would it fire one up to fight for the king? Mm, probably not. A nice quaffer and pleasant, just for that reason. Canmore 12 year old, a nice pleasant drink. And there's many whiskies that would like to be like that. <laughs>